Hello students, this is your last video in relation to the chapter Matter in our surroundings where we deal about evaporation factors affecting evaporation and how will evaporation cause cooling. Now, first thing, when we talk about evaporation, it is a surface phenomenon in which a liquid will get converted in the vapor state without reaching the boiling point. Okay, it can happen at any particular temperature. Now, what exactly happens during evaporation? The particles of liquid, they move constantly because of a bit higher intermolecular space as compared to solids. So this will lead to collision. Collision means they will strike against each other. Now due to the collision, the particles move with different speed and thus they will have different kinetic energy. So if speed is different, kinetic energy is also different. So whenever heat is supplied at any given temperature, the kinetic energy of some particles, those who are on the surface, they will break the force of attraction and they will leave the surface of the liquid and get converted in the vapor state. This is the basic mechanism of evaporation. Now, what are the different factors which are responsible for evaporation in your book? There are four factors given, surface area. So if the surface area is more, evaporation rate will be faster. Temperature, if the temperature is higher, evaporation will be faster. That's why evaporation is much more faster in summer as in winter. Humidity. So if the amount of water vapor is more in the air, rate of evaporation will go down. Wind speed, if the wind speed is higher, automatically evaporation rate will be also faster. Now normally there are some liquids which without being heated also they will get converted into the vapor state. So it depends upon the nature of the liquid. So if their boiling point is less, more is the tendency of the liquid to evaporate and thus they will get changed into the vapor state. Now, the last step here, how will evaporation cause cooling? So remember, whenever a particular liquid evaporates, the particles of the liquid will absorb heat from the surroundings and as it absorbs heat, then only it will get evaporated. So as in when it takes the heat back into the object, the object will feel cooler. Like people sprinkle water on the roof or open ground because during evaporation water will absorb the latent heat of vaporization that will make the hot surface cool down. On the other hand, during summer we sweat more because during evaporation Sweat will absorb the heat from our body and once the sweet sweat is being absorbed, automatically we will feel cooler. Similar example, during summer we prefer to wear cotton cloths because cotton has got small pores through which heat can enter and that will result in faster evaporation of the sweat. If the evaporation rate is higher, automatically we will feel cooler and comfortable. Now some other examples are being given here, pouring of acetone on the palm, then perspiration, eyes rubbed on burnt part of the skin, surgeon spraying some ether before performing any minor surgery and so on. So this will bring curtains to your first chapter matter in our surroundings go through the videos if you still find anything doubtful please don't hesitate to ask thank you